Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what is, in my opinion, the best 3D printer of 2023. So today I'm going to be focusing purely on the FDM side of 3D printing. I'm not going to be going over the resin printers just because I don't have a lot of experience in them. And in my opinion, the best 3D printer of 2023 is the Neptune 3 Pro from Elegoo. Whether you're a veteran in the hobby or you're buying your first 3D printer, the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro is a top choice for everyone looking on the market. Released back in December of 2022, the Neptune 3 Pro launched with a couple of great upgrades as well as some game-changing new features. Just to give you guys some of the specs of the machine, the build volume is 225 by 225 by 280, which is about the same size as a Ender 3. Another neat feature that the Neptune 3 Pro has over a lot of other printers on the market today is it doesn't require a BL touch for it to do its auto leveling and auto home function. It actually uses a sensor on the end of the nozzle to sense where each point is on the bed and is able to level the entire bed that way. Definitely one of the best upgrades to this machine has to be the actual build plate itself. It's a PEIE sheet, um, flexible and magnetic, and the way that this thing is textured, it will not lose the grip of the print at all, um, no matter what kind of uh, build adhesion you have, yet it comes off really easily. This is like the perfect sheet. Another neat thing about this printer is it actually has a touchpad that is connected to like an old school telephone wire that you use as your user interface. And you can go through and select the print. When you go to prepare, you can, you know, move on the different axis levels and change the distance of how far you're traveling with each push and auto home and all that. You can adjust the temperature manually or pick which and then under extruder you can load and unload the filament using the extruder gears instead of doing it manually. Going into settings under temperature settings you can actually adjust the preset temperature for each type of individual material. Light control turns on the light bar at the top of the machine which is really helpful for seeing your prints and being able to see if that first layer is going down properly or not. Another incredible feature to this printer is that it does not have any bed springs, so you don't have to screw and unscrew to tighten the bed to adjust it going up and down. The machine does it on its own, and it's incredible. I've hit auto level and the leveled out the bed one time, and since then I haven't had to adjust it. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to change out the filament without that Bowden tube. This is a direct drive extruder gear, meaning that you don't have to go through the Bowden tube all the way to the end of the extruder and then the, you know, the extruder gear is back where the Bowden tube started. So all you have to do is heat it up to whatever temperature it melts the plastic, open up the little extruder gear to separate the two gears, pull it out, pull it through the filament sensor, and then just load it. I'm not sure if this is a preset setting that uh, Cura has for the Neptune 3 Pro or if it's a newer thing in the update, I'm not sure. But this machine prints off the build adhesion slower than the rest of the print, which I kind of like because it makes sure that the filament is nice and hot and cooled down before the print even starts going on top of it. I just wanted to show you guys some of the samples that I made using the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. This is a tester's paint and paintbrush holder using a multicolor silk PLA. Um, they came out perfect, one shot. I didn't even have to use any sort of raft or supports or anything, and this thing came out perfect. Up next, I printed off this bubblegum machine, and I used a red and gray PLA, just a standard, with a transparent for the bowl to hold the gumballs in, and it actually worked. This is awesome, and I think this took about 
14 hours to print off and it came off perfectly. I also printed off a Luke Skywalker lightsaber and I used a copper, silver, and black PLA to print this whole thing off so there was no paint involved and it looks incredible. Um, no ghosting, no you know drooping or anything like that with this printer. Everything is just perfect with it. I don't know if this thing is just the best printer ever. And then of course I had to print off another Iron Man helmet and this is the faceplate of it. And once again, everything came off better than expected. No drooping, no ghosting, it's, it's incredible. I've also been trying my hand on some of these different sort of articulating 3D prints. I have a octopus and a dinosaur that are both flexible. And these sorts of things are really just fun to make and it shows the precision and the capabilities that the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro has. Now there are plenty of other great printers out there. This is definitely my number one right now, but the Creality Ender 5 Plus is a big printer that I've been using for a while that is amazing as well. And I know that Bamboo makes a couple of pretty good printers, but this printer just has all the best features and they're just the lowest price and it's really hard to beat Elegoo right now. to show you guys real quick a couple of comparisons between the Neptune 3 Pro and the Neptune 4 Pro. Right now the Neptune 3 Pro is only $230 uh, US, where the Neptune 4 Pro is $300. The build volume on the Neptune 3 Pro is actually 15 millimeters higher on the Z axis compared to the Neptune 4 Pro. I don't know why that is, but that's just, I don't know, they just made it smaller for the Neptune 4 Pro. Um, you can print nylon with the Neptune 4 Pro, and you're not supposed to with the Neptune 3 Pro. Um, you know, it's supposed to print faster, it's supposed to print uh, at a higher temperature. Just the regular sorts of upgrades that come out every year with all these printers. But nothing too extravagant about the Neptune 4 Pro compared to the 3. And with the price difference, I would never see you going for the Neptune 4 Pro unless you really just wanted to print with nylon and to print a little bit faster. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful in deciding which printer you should purchase next. And I will see you guys in the next video.